guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, if you want to see my initial reaction to it, I will leave the link to the video somewhere on screen. There'll be a link probably right there. Yeah, so my link to my initial reaction will be right there. It's obviously not like a full reaction, but it's me reacting right when I came out of the theater. It's mainly about the post credit scenes, but yeah, I'm also going to be doing a video about those. I want to start doing videos about all the Marvel movies, solely because they come out so rarely, and maybe the DC movies, if they're good. I won't be covering news or anything, but just the movies. Alright, let's get into it. I'm not going to be incredibly detailed, I'm just going to give my thoughts. Alright, so spoiler warning, if you had not seen... Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in 1, 2, 3, 10 out of 10, loves this movie, probably my personal favorite Marvel movie, alright, 1, the Stanley cameo in this movie was so different, it was just so different, all the other Stanley cameo were like jokes, but this was like, you know what, you might know the theory that Stan Lee is the washer of Earth. You know, the, the guy from the comments, I forgot his name, but there's that guy in the comments, the washer, that the designated to planet Earth, and he overviewed everything. He overviewed the mainstream Marvel Universe, he overviewed uh, the Ultimate, the Marvel Ultimate Universe. He, I, um, he probably does all the other ones, he has all of them. Everything that happens on Earth in the Marvel Universe, he is watching. He has been watching for billions of years. He was there when photosynthesis was a thing. This guy is old as hell. But if the fact that the family was just chilling with three watchers, I would just like... In the theory of him being a watcher true. Like, so that I loved. I love that. As you can tell, I'm going to be all over the place. Um, I liked how the movie was more serious this time than it was last time. Last time, it was serious. Like, obviously, it, had, it was somewhat serious. But, it honestly, like, it did I never, like, cried during that movie the first time. In this movie, I'll admit, I cried at the end of this movie. I, cr I cried a little bit. Like, I will admit, I cried some manly tears of joy of Stan like, when, like, when Yondu died at the end of the movie. That I liked. Also, is this the first time the MCU had, like, killed a major player? Like, yeah, he's not really a major player, but you know what I mean. Like, I think out of outside, like, origin stories and flashbacks and background characters, is he, main is he the first main guy to die? I think he is. I'm pretty sure Nyan would be the first main guy to die. But, I mean, I really enjoyed Nyan, uh, everything with Yandu and Quill. The stuff with him and, um, oh god, what's his father's name? I don't read, I don't know much about the Guardians of the Galaxy comics. Ego. 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 And something about Ego. I was disappointed that he wasn't literally a living planet, that he, like, created it. They obviously had to change the origin. Then what I understand, I could be spitting shit out of my ass. What the hell was... Okay, my... Sorry, my dog was... I thought my dog was, like, eating something. But the point is, is that... Okay, whatever. I'm just going to ignore that. I think it's good. And there's no food in that room over there that you could be eating. So, but, but the point is, is that... Okay. What did I say? Alright, so the food, uh, food... Damn it! I'm gonna edit something that's out, uh... Oh, Ego, yeah. I don't know Ego's origin in the comics. I don't. I'm sorry. I, I don't know Ego's origin. I don't. But I do know in the comics he's like a living... A literal living planet. I can name an Ego a living planet. For I do not believe his father is the celestial in the comics. Maybe I'm wrong? But, uh, or like, I, from what I understand, the comics, it, 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 it's, not, it's nothing like he, like, manifests himself. I'm not really sure. But I was kind of disappointed that he wasn't a last a living planet. But the fact that they used it as an excuse to introduce the Celestials, I was like, 
Yo, yo. I mean, I literally, I think I thought with my mother, who was very into all these movies, didn't read the comments or anything, but she's into, like, the Marvel movie, the DC movie. She's always, she's always been into that. And so I saw her, and I literally, I just looked like I was insane when I jumped out of my seat when he, when, when, when he was, like, when, when they were, so when they talked about when they briefly mentioned Infinity, I was like, like, one of the most powerful celestial beings in the Marvel Universe. Like, oh, this is what I love about the Marvel movie. When they, when they're dro- they got into the point where they're dropping, like, cosmic level names here. Like, the only bad thing is they can't drop, name drop Galactic, which is really shitty because Galactic is awesome. No, but, uh, all of that, all of that stuff was amazing. Um, obviously, the soundtrack. I'll say it now. 10 out of 10. I'm actually, I never bought the last soundtrack. I've been listening to it on YouTube. But this movie made me decide, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go, and I'm going to download both soundtracks. Again, it ends up being like $20. I do not care whatsoever. I'm going to get both soundtracks. They're both some of the greatest soundtracks ever. Like, they're amazing. I don't think it's great that they're really bringing back this older music. Yeah, I saw the I saw the first Guardian of my grandparents one, and like, it was like it was like the sounds are going to be that part of the movie. It's like the older people, like like even really elderly people, can enjoy the movie because of the soundtracks, which is awesome. Also, that bit at the end where he got the uh, I forgot what it was. I don't. I don't remember what it was. It wasn't an iPod, but it was like an iPod. He's like, they say where everybody on Earth is listening to these days. That was just oh my god. And you see, I just like I can't even review this movie. I just how much I loved it. Now, of course, there were problems with it. I'll get into the problems when I'm done fanboying over how good this movie was because this movie. What so goddamn good? Alright, okay, okay. Okay, let's move on, alright? What else happened in this movie that was awesome? Everything with Groot. Like, there isn't much else to say that he was like Baby Groot. So all the time, they were just really adorable. I didn't realize when I heard about Baby Groot that they meant he was going to have the mentality of a baby. And yet he had to regrow up. That made me wonder, does he still remember the first couple movies? And the first movie, like, like, I was hoping he would be like, like, he would be like, we are Groot again, but no. So you don't remember to do that, that's kind of depressing to me, but, uh, it's also kind of depressing, you know, we had all this hype to Yondu, joining the Guardian. And then he, well, doesn't, he joined the Guardian. For one movie. I mean, they died. But then again, now I actually know characters are going to die, and, very much like the whole Iron Man thing. Like, now, if, if Avengers, if this came out before Avengers, I would be ten times more concerned when Iron Man crashed into the, out of the ground and that wormhole now. You know, I'd be like, they had the ball. They will kill Iron Man. No, but, like, they had the ball to kill off character, which I, it's great to know. This is just, that's a good movie. It's, oh my god, that's something. Yeah, no, it's that all. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, but I'm not editing any of this, by the way. I don't see the point. But, uh, yeah. Really good movie. Um, another thing that I loved was Rocket, obviously. The CGI for Rocket and Groot was on point. The girl that could read, could feel emotions and think, did not care for her. Alright? I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. It just... I didn't feel her as I didn't. Like... For me, she was kind of, she wasn't, like, all the best stuff with her wasn't even because of her. It was because Drax is just such a dick, but he doesn't want to be a dick. I mean, like, he's like, you are so hideously ugly. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, when, when, she, when she's in the room, it's like, and she's trying to warn him, and he's like, listen, I tried to let you down gently. And he starts, and he's like, no, I'm just not like that. And he starts dry heaving. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> I was, and he's like, what's wrong? 
And he's like, I was thinking about being with you physically. <laughs> I mean, it just was amazing. I know, I felt sweet. And if, even, even though, even, it's even funny when Rocket and uh, Peter are fighting in the beginning of the movie. It's hilarious. I mean, that movie just, I was just laughing and laughing the entire time. This is probably one of the fun. This movie, I may say, it's, you know, it's just as funny as Deadpool, but in a different way. It's more like subtle humor. Like, it's more, it's like, the humor in Deadpool is more like crude and, like, this is just genuinely funny. Deadpool was like, this movie is not even, Deadpool and you could tell at times he was trying to be funny. Like, don't get me wrong, Deadpool, hilarious, much funnier, but this is just as funny in its own unique Guardians of the Galaxy way. Now, I really liked how the battle, and battle wasn't goofy. Now, I will admit, I wasn't a biggest fan of the whole, like, Superman X fight, like, that was like some Superman shit, like, when, like, vaulting back and forth, like, and, like, it just, it felt very, it, Guardians of the Galaxy was very grounded last movie, it felt very ungrounded, but then again, maybe the Guardians of the Galaxy are incredibly ungrounded characters, because I wouldn't know that, then I don't read the Guardians of the Galaxy comics. So maybe that's normal for shit like that to happen in Guardian. I mean, I'm pretty sure I heard like a week or two, like a month or two ago there was some really shitty storyline with Tony Stark traveling around the galaxy as Iron Man and being a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy or some shit like that. I uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure what is that a thing like that like year or something? I don't know. I'm not. A, I know about the comments, but I don't read them actively. But uh, yeah. Really good movie. I've been ranting and raving now for 12 minutes. I have to get into the problem. Now, I don't have any problems with this movie. The acting was on point. Soundtrack was on point. Graphics were on point. Everything was on point besides the pacing. I felt like the final battle was very quickly paced. And while I always knew what was going on, I felt like it was. I could definitely see it being hard for somebody to follow that final battle. Like, it's not one of those movies you can just go into without seeing the last one. Like, it really is. Like, that battle would have been, it's just, it's so hard to follow. It's, I can see that being very hard to follow. I had no trouble, but I can see somebody having, like, I can see one of the younger members of the audience. Like, like, like an eight-year-old being like, what the hell is going on? Like, I, I, like, how did I did. It's like one minute we're like like one minute you're with Gamora, one minute you're with Rocket, like one second you're with Gamora, one second you're with Rocket, one and then like uh, two minutes later, Peter is like harnessing the power of the celestial and, and forming a giant like energy Pac Man to eat its father. It's like it's like the last like twenty minutes are very are non stop. Scene, 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 scene. Very packed ending. Um, and then, of course, but, but then again, I guess, that, I guess I can kind of excuse it because they had to make time for the funeral and all of that. I mean, the stuff with Yondu, oh, I didn't get emotional until the war buddy showed up. Like, that was when I, I started crying. I, I, a couple tears came out of my eye. I don't think I've cried watching any piece of medium. Since it was either Luffy versus Sanji in One Piece, I almost cried during that, and or Naruto versus Sasuke and Naruto, one of the two, whichever whichever came out most recently, though no 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 wait no, Nina, Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood Episode Four, Nina, I I cried. That was the last time I cried watching a piece of media, so uh, yeah, it's not easy to make me cry watching media. It took, uh, it, it, it took Naruto for the Sake, which I've been waiting for, for like 15 years to get me a cry and watching a bit of media. It took Luffy and Sanji, which I've been waiting, well, which, which were just, you know, two characters I've been following that have been friends for like 10 years. I mean, it took them fighting to get me 
to cry. And they t- and I then I even then even then I barely I I only te- I only teared up a little bit. I didn't actually cry. I just got a little watery eyes. But uh, I Nina I I I cried when Nina died. But this yeah I forget I yeah Nina the little girl from the Alchemist she died. I'm sorry I just spoiled three theories that it thing from three theories that have been out for months and or years. Seriously, none of these things are recent. Don't attack me for spoilers for shit that's been out for like five years. Or like two years or three months in the case of Naruto and One Piece. But whatever, I do not care. The point is, I don't cry easily. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, this isn't much of the review. I think I'll just put this as Guardians of the Galaxy review slash opinion slash thoughts. That- I'm not new to reviewing the Marvel movies, I promise. I don't, all the Marvel movies are often really good. Alright, and that's probably my favorite one. Like, I really don't have any problem with it. I really don't. Even the villain. Peter Quill fought Let me talk about the villain. Was good. Was he the most amazing villain? No. But for a Marvel movie, I had a villain that had, like, a motivation. He had motivation! He had, he had a reason, he had a personality, he had goals, he had ambitions. I was like, I can get behind this. It's much better than taking ruining a good character like Bon Demo and having him be like, Well, see, I, I was hoping that Tony Stark walked into the compact. He would have uh, seen the video of, of Bucky murdering his mommy. And then him and Kathy would start beating the shit out of each other. Until they both beat the shit out of each other so much that they died. And instead of doing that, which is one of the stupidest things they've ever done. I mean, that just ruined Bon Nemo character. And as I may, I would do a video on that, but that's like two year old news. The point is, is that this was a legitimately good villain by Marvel standards. In my opinion, um, Nick was up there with, like, Loki. Like, I really enjoyed him. Like, I would not mind him coming back. Like, I enjoyed him. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited. And I'm acting up to, and I think I'm going to record a video about the, the Adam Warlock post credit scene tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm acting up to go probably record a, uh, either a One Piece or an Archer video. So, yeah, tell me your thoughts on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. In the comments section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. Subscribe for more of these types of videos. I will be doing some more comic book content. There won't be a ton of it. But now that summer's coming up, I'm definitely going to spend the summer. I may do like a rebrand this summer. Not like a name change or anything, but you know. I'm going to be doing much more diverse content. Still going to be One Piece. But you know, not more Boruto. More other animes. And all that crap. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh. Also. If you are a fan. And you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. If you are a fan of Samurai Jack. Because I'm going to be doing a live reaction to tomorrow's episode. And the episode after that. And I will be doing a full on season 5 review soon. So yeah. Peace out guys.